Mersum TV with me, James Barrett Sterling, and unfortunately, our adventure in the Surrey Senior Cup fell at the first hurdle today. A 3 0 defeat against visiting Sutton United, but I have been joined by midfielder Charlie Greenwood. Um, Charlie, there was quite a long inquest on the pitch there with, with the gaffer. Can you kind of let us in on what was kind of said? Yeah, he was just talking about the levels, obviously, their full time. I think you could see that in their structure. He's just sort of saying, if you've got to get to that level, got to have that communication, and obviously, you see the size, never mind them, but their first team, if they're the levels you want to get to, you know, that physicality, that intensity, and that, I don't think we had that in the first half. We upped it a little bit in the second half, but too late by then, unfortunately. Yeah. It's kind of a, a tale of our season at the moment, isn't it, where we have good good spells in games, yeah. and, and actually I think tonight's probably been one of the weaker performances in, yeah. the, in the last kind of month or so. Um, how do we go about sort of changing that and, and getting a few more goals and getting that elusive win? Yeah, I don't know. I think it's just confidence. Um, you know, we've got a good group of boys. We've we've kept a good atmosphere, which is difficult when you, when you're losing games every week. But we've kept that that atmosphere, that positivity around the camp. So I think it's just getting that first one, and then once you get the first one, I think more will come. But at the moment, the first one's the most difficult one to get, and that's the one we we got to strive for. It really is. Um, looking at it on paper tonight, I think both sides would have been like, Sutton United would have come here thinking we've got a good chance to win this. And we would have looked at it and thought, oh, it's their academy team that are coming, so we've got a good opportunity. What, how do you go, go about getting the mentality right in, in our heads in the dressing room before you come out? Yeah, I think it was actually almost easier for us because we haven't been winning games. So, you know, we want to get that first one. But, you know, in the first half, they just seemed hungrier. I think they're winning their individual battles and, and that wins you games when... You have almost 11 players when they're individual battles. You don't really stand much chance. Uh, for yourself, the season's been going fairly positively, but tonight you, you were playing as an eight and then you dropped back into sort of a CDM position. What, what's your favourite? Oh, I think at box to box or maybe slightly more defensive, I think, yeah. Even though you're one of the top goal scorers with two this season. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think that says much, <laughs> but yeah lucky ones as well. <laughs> what do you think about going in, into, into Saturday then? Is, uh, do you think we might see some of the other boys come back into contention? So I know a couple of the academy lads got a run out tonight, didn't they, which is good. Yeah, I think the older boys were just getting a bit of a rest tonight. I don't know if they can handle Saturday, Monday. Um, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, goody. Um, but yeah, I think obviously it's a must win, really. I think they're down with us, so just got to go into it confident, start games how we have been starting. But then I think the second half has been letting us down. We've just got to maintain it for 90 minutes and confident we'll get the win. Yeah, well, we're all behind you, Charlie. Yeah. You and all the boys. All right, hard luck tonight. Thank you. Cheers.